This is already a way better episode. <laughs> so, to make up for our cider and cucumber episodes, which Eric hated. Hated it. We're back with some more pizza and beer pairing. Yay! Yay! Two of his favoriteest things. So we took these pairings from craftbeer.com, not sponsored. And uh, last time we did cheese pizza mm -hmm. and some beers. And it was a totally cheesy episode. It was cheesy. We did uh, Bohemian Pilsners and um, American Lagers. That sounds about right. This time we're doing pepperoni pizza with American Pales and American Brown. Brown. Kind of like <laughs> that. just worked out. It did. Nice. So, uh, why these, according to the diagram that Craft Beer put together, it's because they are bitter and hoppy beers. Goes well with the cheese and the meat. And it's true, the bitterness and the fattiness, they kind of balance each other out. Uh, I'll throw up some, what's called the IBU rating scale here. And you can see that as the IBU increases, and that's the measure of bitterness, the the beers get out of a range that I want to taste. Also. So bitterness is, is measured by IBUs, and on the low side of the scale, you'll have your sours. You're really not at all bitter beers. And on the high end of the scale, you've got your, like, triple IPAs. Now, at a certain point in time, your tongue is no longer going to distinguish a more bitterness. Like That's there, right. There is, because you will pick it up. <laughs> there's a limit to how much bitterness the human tongue can actually perceive. But for all intents and purposes, it's like a 0 to 100 scale. These guys are all in the middle. <laughs> Personally speaking, I can only manage an IBU of about 35 max. And that's just about where these guys are. Eric likes IPAs, which are like in the 60s and above. However, a lot of things can actually influence the bitterness, and that's any of the ingredients, how alcoholic a beer is. So, all of these things... Yes, they all fart. I-B-U. Yeast the U stands for fart. Or carbonation. <laughs> First up is a local... <laughs> Eric's playing with his food. <laughs> Firestone Walkers from the central coast of California, Paso Robles. Uh, known as Wine Country, or one of them. Um, but it's got a beer city. And it's got some beer in it. Firestone Walker actually has a couple locations. One's here in Venice, and I'm going there. It's right there. That's not here, though. Venice Beach. Here in Southern California. Oh, Southern I thought you meant Central Italy. Central California. We're drinking the beer. <laughs> <laughs> they also have their experimental barrel works in Buellton, California, which is a little south of Paso, and they've got some amazing sour beer there. Oh my god. OMG. But today we're having their pale. American pales. So pale ale is the larger category of IPAs, and then there's English and American versions of each of these things, and basically what it comes down to is the English started it, the Americans did it too, and they just made it hoppier. <laughs> American hops are by and large, more resinous and bitter than European hops. They're also more American! Yeah! Uh, Sierra Nevada is actually the leader in this specific category. In 1980, they piloted their Sierra Nevada Pale, and it just took off like gangbusters because it was a little bit more bitter than their English counterparts. And that's 30 years, 40 years later led to this. All right. All right, well. let's, let's taste it. Oh, wait, the 80s was 40 years ago? Almost. Damn! Almost. Oh, man. The decade that spawned He-Man is old. He-Man. he, -Man. he, -Man. he -Man. All right. And then this is where we have pizza. This pizza was not cut very well. <laughs> let, me just, let me just work through my issues here. That really is a nice compliment. Mm. Again, not a fan of the whole bitter category, but, um, but the pizza, the fattiness in the pizza and the pepperoni really mellows out that bitter flavor. 
We're going to have to do this with IPAs. <laughs> All right. So earlier I mentioned that I know me and my bitterness max is somewhere around 35. This is in the 40s. So on its own, it's not something I would gravitate towards. What about you? Oh, I'm in heaven. A combination of this. Okay, two. okay, wait. Swallow, and then you can talk to the camera. Mm. I think what Eric is trying to say is that he loves it. I will interpret for you. This is great. There you go. That's all he's trying to say. I got a three. <laughs> it's a 17. It's a 17. Wow. High praise. When Eric's 17 something, it's usually everything. Yay. <laughs> On its own, not so great for me. With the pizza, it's a 5D. I actually um, I thoroughly enjoy the taste of the pizza after I'd taken some of that. So I'm gonna. So go it made the pizza better for it you. It did make the pizza better. It brought out the flavors of the uh, of the cheese and the tomato sauce, and that was an enjoyable moment for me. <laughs> Much like when I found out Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's dad. All right, so I only got this one because of the name. Dale. Dale. Dale's Pale Ale. Yes. Dale is our brother's name. He is the elder of us three. Yeah. All right, so Dale's Pale Ale. Uh, Oscar Blues, great brewery out of Colorado. Colorado. Logmont, Colorado. They claim that they started the craft beer in a can craze. I don't know how much veracity there is to that. If but it's on Wikipedia, it's true. I will tell you. I loved my 36 hours in Denver. Really? Colorado has really nice people, great <laughs> beer, mm -hmm. and um, was just a great time. It was also like the only two and a half days I had between one business trip and another business trip, so it was like hardcore, relax and drink beer. The good news is all of your business now delves yes. into beer, so okay. All of my you should make another beer. one of those business trips out I in Colorado, should. I so should. you can go to Dale's, or to Fred's, or to Bob's, or whoever the fuck is brewing beer that day, <laughs> so, on some sort of snowy mountain. Oscar Blues also makes my favorite Scotch Ale. Scotch. We'll talk about that in a future episode. There's Scotch Ale on Nitro. Oh my god, so smooth. But today we're doing the Pale Ale, which is a little darker than our friends at Firestone Walker. Some would say it's a little paler. No, it's darker. Well, that's what I'm talking. This one's paler. Yeah. You ruined the, 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 the gag, man! It was a bad gag. It was a, it was a wonderful gag. Okay. So, a thing happened while we were filming our pepperoni and beer pizza episode last time. Uh, the audio decided to go away. So, uh, kind of a blessing in disguise because those beers didn't really go with that pizza. <laughs> but for reals, uh, so we just decided to refilm with different beers that are a little hoppier, uh, and maybe that'll work out today? Hop. Oh. Let's <laughs> see. He's not mute. But as you can see up there in the corner, there's no audio whatsoever. The microphone's on strike, it came unplugged, the onboard mic wasn't working. Who knows? Camera likes to fuck with us. Eric's ready to eat his pizza. Um. So, Eric, have you ever had this beer? I've never had this beer. I've had this beer and I don't like it. Oh, then why are we drinking it? Because I have learned through doing this that sometimes a beer tastes differently when you have food with it. Come again? Oh my god. Well, we should put this beer to the test. <laughs> so, up first we have the Ellie's Brown Ale <laughs> from Avery a Company in Colorado where a lot of good beer is made. Mm -hmm. Some not so good. Mm -hmm. So these brown ales are a bit hoppier than the ones that we thought we were going to be drinking the first time. And we'll probably pair better because as we learned, the pale ales, which were bitter, went well with the pizza. Pale ale pizza. <laughs> so, ready? Yes. Thumbs Let's up. do it. Deep. I said brown.
pizza's good. The pizza's good. Mm -hmm. The beer? It's all right. I feel like it leaves me a taste of... See? It worked. I don't know. No, no, it worked. I have had this in a bar before on tap. They always taste a little differently on tap than from the bottle. Mm. It's supposedly better. I did not like it. I don't even remember what I was eating that night. I may not have been eating. But now, with the pizza, I will agree, better. So, if I was now in a bar eating pizza and this was on tap, maybe I'd have it. Yeah, it loses a bit of flavor for me when I have the pizza. And I'm not sure I enjoy it after eating it. The first, the first taste I had before the pizza bite, that was good, and I'll do it again. Yes, or without the pizza. Sans pizza. So, Eric and I are opposites on this. I would give it a 17, just on a, with the pizza. What would you rate it without the pizza? I'll give it a holla at me, girl. <laughs> so, you're interested, but you're not going to put in the effort. Exactly. Ah, I got it. I speak boy. I just finished it. Of course you did. Doesn't mean I liked it. No, no, it doesn't mean anything, just that you'll drink it. <laughs> We've learned this, audience. The bureaucrats know. There are certain things you will do every episode. You will drink all your beer unless it's truly awful and tastes like feet, like cucumber beer. Oh, God, so <laughs> You're going to blow it to the bottle and make noises. Mm -hmm. You're going to be silly and give things random ratings. And you're just going to be cute. Look at it. He shaved for you guys. Next beer? Next up is uh, Rogue Ales out of Oregon. Oregon! <laughs> Lots of good beers also come from Oregon. Lots of good beers come from Oregon! Rogue actually makes a Chipotle ale I really like. Mm -hmm. But uh, I only saw it one time, one bottle at like a random BevMo, and they don't ship to California if you order it online, so I'm kind of shit out of luck ever getting it again unless I go back. So you have to go back to Oregon if you're to... Get it on with this drink? <laughs> yeah. It was from their uh, their experimental arm of their brewery. So they have like a the department. Farm, Rogue Farm. They have a department that just says, let's see what we can do here. If it sucks, we'll sell it in California. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But this one is their hazelnut brown nectar. Ale with natural hazelnut flavor. The guy on the bottle kind of looks like our dad. Because <laughs> he's bald. He doesn't have a beard, though. Dad has a mustache. Look, they're really close in color. I don't see color. Okay. Oh, we're drinking now? Okay. God. It's she, nutty. She doesn't take cues. It's nutty. I just want to eat. I'm hungry. It is nutty. Let's go nuts about it. Just bit my tongue. I should not be allowed out in public by myself. Quit biting your tongue and keep biting your nuts. <laughs> nope. That is a no, sir. What that pizza did is bring out the chocolate notes in there, and that does not go well. No. 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 Uh, sorry, Rogue. But no. You should continue go being a rogue by yourself. Uh, the pizza's good, though. Thanks for getting that. No problem. <laughs> pizza's good. Uh, so to wrap up, we, uh, we, we tried two new browns with our pizza. Eric still hasn't finished his, but hang on a second. He will. Um, we liked one of them, kind of. Eric didn't. I'm okay with it. We did not like one of them at all with pizza. By itself, it's okay. So I think the winner of this episode is one of the pale ales we had, right? Yep, yeah. definitely the pale ale. We had the Dale's Oscar Blues, and we had the Firestone Walker Pale 31. I think either of those are better bets with pepperoni pizza. Mm. So thanks for catching up with us on this kind of crazy episode. Craziness! <laughs> Let us know down in the comments if there's a different brown or pale that you would prefer with your pizza. Also, um, if there's a different kind of pizza that we should be drinking with these beers, let us know. And maybe we could try to drive and get it if it's two miles away. How about macaroni and cheese pizza? 
Hmm. Spaghetti pizza? Hmm. Mexican pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> With like salsa and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let us know how you feel about pineapple on pizza. Very polarizing. Like in this room, one of us likes it and one of us does not. I don't understand how you don't like pineapple on pizza if you just like pineapple. Because I'm not a sadist. It's yummy. No, it's not. Anyway, we're Bureaucrats TV on Instagram, Bureaucrats TV on Twitter, Bureaucrats TV on Facebook. Find us. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, please. On Twitter, he's Lord Fonz with two Zs. I'm P Font. And thank you for joining us at the Bureaucracy. Cheers. Cheers. such a fucking dork. <laughs> he is. He just pull, pretends to be stupid on our beer TV channel. Dur, dur, dur. So. Dur. Paul Farce, that sounds like a terrible band name. No, it's a, What's your like band a name, band. Band. Oh, It's yeah. a hipster band, and they're playing one of those washboard things, and probably some spoons. While they all have beers. While drinking craft beer. No, craft cider. Oh, fuck those guys. <laughs> the Paul Farce, coming to a theater near you. <laughs> I mean... I know what you guys are talking about. Totally. I mean... Eric's such a valley girl. <laughs> right? Oh. Okay, but first let's get our beer. Okay. All right. I cannot guarantee that with the more beer I drink, I will not talk about Star Wars. That's okay. I just want more beer so I can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Typical boy. Hi. Uh, Welcome to Russian State TV. I am your host, Volkan Gorbachev. This okay. is this is hostess, woman number 273. We drink now. <laughs> Russian State TV says, so shut up, crazy woman. Men talk. Three, two, one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share that with all your friends.